You can't count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. And then you turn and then you just can't fall asleep. Well, I, I found when I first got into my bed, uh, I was really uncomfortable. I think that was the most noticeable thing that I, you know, it was the middle of the night and I want to go to sleep. They want me to go to sleep. And I couldn't find a, a, a proper position that would allow me that, to do that. And these nurses worked with the bed, worked with the pillows. They kept try trying absolutely everything to get me comfortable enough to get some rest. And that really made a first impression on me. And continuing on, they kept popping their head in. And just around the curtains, you know, giving a wave or saying, are you okay? Do you need anything? That's just reassurance. And you after that you tend to settle down a bit because you know someone out there is looking after you or concerned about you. I had a lot of tests the next day and uh, one of the tests revealed that I was uh, very low in potassium and so uh, I think it was Lisa who came in and uh, she gave me an option, three choices for this potassium and uh, I didn't want to drip and I certainly didn't want to shake so she said how about a, a potassium shot meaning a cocktail shot and she mixed it up with ice cubes and gave it a shake and said down it like you're in a bar and I did and it was I know potassium tastes terrible but it was she made it so much fun that you're distracted from the taste and bingo I had my potassium little things like that if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you. Well, they really were with me every step of the way. Um, Holly, who actually, I think it was the first shift that she actually ever worked at the hospital, um, and she was paired up with Rhonda. Um, and both Rhonda and Holly were there, you know, very often, but Holly spent most of my labor and delivery actually right beside me, helping coach me through all of my uh, contractions and, you know, sort of telling me, you know, what I'm supposed to be feeling as opposed to, you know, when there's cause for concern. So that was kind of nice because, you know, even after you've gone through it a few times, it still is, uh, you know, a little scary. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. I brought my daughter with me who said, Dad, you've got nothing to worry about. I said, yeah, that's because you're sitting out here and I'm in the room getting the work done. But in any event, a charming nurse by the name of Joyce uh, came over and said, you must be Don Crosley right this way and right from the minute she arrived she took control of the situation again assuring me you've got nothing to fear we're going to get you all ready it'll probably be oh, upwards of an hour before you actually go to surgery and during that period of time we'll be checking your blood pressure and all that sort of good stuff but she was so caring and attentive the order came it's time for me to now go down the hall to the dreaded operating room <laughs> but I arrived there and immediately was greeted by two more charming nurses just checked to make sure I was the right guy and told me again I had nothing to fear and they also said to me this entire procedure once you get in the operating room Mr. Crosby is going to be less than 10 minutes so let's say within 15 minutes you'll be out of here so don't get worried so all of a sudden all my fears started to disappear it's professional care for sure but it's also very caring they really care about their patients they're not just a number so that is why I think Joe Brandt is a great place Thank you for caring, your smiles, your understanding, your laughter, every step of the way. Thanks to all the nursing staff for all your wonderful care and attention. You are the greatest. Thank you and keep caring. Yay! You did such a good job! Be there.